Wipe those horny smiles off your pimply faces. This is human sexuality. Before you think that this is all fun and games and hot carls, understand that this class is serious. Turk, I know it's sex ed, but could you please put your testicle back in your shorts? Legalize the human body, I say. If I want to go commando and have one nut flipped out over the top, then <laughs> so be it. <laughs> yes, please. And Watska, settle down or I'll send you to detention. Aren't you excited? First sleepover in the new town? It's not that big of a deal, Mom. It's just Watskas. Of course it is, my little cherub. Good luck. <laughs> With Gina. Sweet evening, Babs. You're looking foxy as always. Oh, hi, Miss Teets. Don't be so silly. Call me Vanita. Okay, Vanita. I'll have your rent check first thing on Monday. Thanks again for giving us such a reasonable price and such a nice place. Oh, it's your suck hole, sweetie. Us young, attractive, sexually progressive women have to look out for each other. There's just one thing. You know, I think the air condition is busted. It's always so hot in there. Oh, yeah. Might take a while to get someone out here for that. So in the meantime, do what I do. Throw open the windows and let the ocean breezes run its salty tongue across your fertile crescent. Can you tell I read a lot of erotica? It's nice to know that some people still take the time to read. All right, well, ta-ta. Better let you go and get your freaking started, sister girl. I'm actually staying in tonight. That's surprising. You've gone out the last four Fridays in a row. Three of that little low-cut black dress. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm taking the night off. You know, with Mondo gone, I actually have a fighting chance of cleaning this place. Must be nice to have choices. For me, Friday night means reruns of Wife Swap and a Lean Pocket. I don't even bother defrosting them anymore. After that, I call the community college radio station and dedicate a Carrie Underwood song to myself, just to pretend there's someone out there who cares about me. Then I cry into my pillow, pass out, and if I'm lucky, I wake up and it's Monday. So anywho, let me know when it's a good time to send my illegal to fix that air conditioner. Wait, you know what, Vanita? Why don't we have a girl's night out? Really? Yeah, we'll be like a couple of Sex in the City girls. Okay, I'll go. Everyone says I'm just like Samantha, but without that mannish voice. <laughs> right? Oh, fantastic. I'll wear my doobie moo moo. Great. I wonder what I should wear. A low cut black dress. Or something else. It's all really the same to me. But wear it. Are you enjoying this? Yes! I mean, no, of course not. No, no, no. I mean, you know what would be more fun? <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Pants, detective. It seems your pants have gone missing. <laughs> Why, yes, I keep touching myself to check, but they're still gone. <laughs> <laughs> also, I brought you a pizza. It should be free. It took more than a half hour, and there's a penis in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ma'am, you don't have to pay me with oral sex. I accept cash credit cards and regular sex. <laughs> <laughs> Golly gee whiz, that doesn't fit there. It might. Let's try. <laughs> Dude, Pube City come alive. What once was a one hair town has blossomed into a bustling, curly metropolis. I'm still mayor of Peach Fuzz Village. Not even a chest hair, nothing. I mean, I'm almost 16. What's wrong with me? Oh, no worries, bro. It'll all happen. I think it's genetic. I saw my mom naked and she's completely hairless. Body hair is overrated. You spend your first 30 years trying to grow it, and the next 30 trying to get rid of it. Oh, chill out. Chicks don't care about that stuff anyway. Hey, Woody. Looking good out there. Cool hair under your arms. Thanks, ladies. It's not just under my arms. It's everywhere! <laughs> I guess I'm just a late bloomer. Late bloomer? You've got the third biggest rack in 10th grade. Hey, everybody. This is Tang. Oh, for two! Hello, darling. The changing area is... Oh, my God! Oh, her boobs look like tube socks filled with ground beef. Her butt looks like dirty waffles. You don't need to take your dress off, Tang. What's done is done. Oh, being a woman requires so much maintenance. Men have it so easy. Any monkey can wash a banana. Oh, it's so refreshing to see someone in touch with her body. In fact, let's take a moment now to appreciate our Lady Latkes. Girls?
think shrinkage happens to everybody, bro. I once walked in on my Nana shaving her armpits, and it took three Rihanna videos to coax it out of hiding. I really think you're making way too much out of this, Mondo. Mondo? I know not of this Mondo that you speak of. I am Sheriff Mustachio Van Dyke, transfer student from Cowboy City, USA. No sane person's gonna buy it, bro. Morning, Woody, Sheriff Van Dyke. <sighs> ah! Mondo! You have got to quit sneaking up on people like that. I did it! I've hacked into the school's mainframe and changed all our grades to BS! Because that's exactly what this school is! Bullshivic socialism! Oh, that's it. I have had it about up to here with all of you! I'd rather Woody and Milan be at home being looked after by my live-in mistress. I, I mean maid. And if any of you have a problem with that, Take it up with my $400 an hour mistress. Lawyer, damn! Yeah, nature doesn't have a lot of foods that Mondo likes. I'm sure they're fine. I'm more worried about getting through this weekend. Your apprehension is well-founded. But you don't think we're going on some nature hike, do you? Uh-huh. Maniacal laughter! This whole thing is an elaborate ruse. We're here to be hunted for sport by some bloodthirsty billionaire. We'll be lucky to make it through the night alive! <laughs> Ominous cackle, followed by shifty eye movements. Don't worry, he said the same thing when we took a field trip to the zoo. Behold, Cachondo Island, site of California's greatest shame. Why? Did they displace the indigenous people? Worse, it's where MTV filmed the reality show Creepy Uncle Island. I know it ended badly, but you can't blame those kids. That candy looked delicious. All right, gather around while I forcibly insert some knowledge into your brainus. At this point, y'all must think I'm this invincible Greek god-like wizard, but I was once just like you all. Well, except for that kid. Mmm, warms my cockles. Don't worry, man, you're a catch. You've got good hair, a sweet face, a great personality. That's what they say about fat girls! I'm gonna be alone forever. What the? Check this out! I like, I like! Why the titillation, gents? Ooh, look at those curves, the perfect shape. Daddy wants to touch. This is one sexy phone. Oh, and there's a picture of a woman on it. College? Choices? Sounds like a real hellraiser. What? Does he not do the dishes when he cooks you a gourmet meal? <laughs> does he fold your pretty blouses wrong after he does your laundry? All right, all right, I get it. I have the perfect kid. I gotta go find him before he hates me forever. Mondo! Mondo! Woo! Mondo! Slow down, I've got catcher's knees. Oh, you play baseball? Yeah, what team do you think I play for? I surfed the biggest wave and I rode the biggest woman. Who was that? The old guy from Rabe County who was sleeping in my bed, he had this really skimpy pair of briefs that he said had magic powers, and he treated me like a girl. Oh, again with this? Listen, if you don't want to talk to me, just say so. Oh, hey, you must be Miss Brando. I just wanted to thank you for the hospitality. Your daughter sure knows how to please a man. Thanks. Wait, what? I'm guessing there's a girl involved? There is! Gina! She's awesome, but whenever I'm around her, I get all tongue-tied. Oh, tongue-tied is good. You just need to blend it with a proper British accent, and you'll be a hobbit-sized Hugh Grant in no time. <laughs> now get to it! Hello, Gina. I just want to give you a hand job. No, I mean, a, a hand for what good job you've done with the party. Bollocks! 